Frustration and anger in Alpine over a man parents say has been peeping in the windows of their children's bedrooms. Yeah, and it gets worse. The 21 year old was due in court this morning, but was released before he even appeared before a judge. CBS 8's Kelly Hesedal joins us live from the Alcohol Courthouse with what happened, Kelly. That's right, he was released, uh, but just to be clear, that doesn't mean he's not going to be charged. I'm told detectives are still uh, gathering evidence and investigating this case, and once they get all the evidence together, they'll present it to the DA's office, who will then decide if charges are filed. But as you can imagine, uh, for a mother who's involved in all of this, uh, who says that this man targeted her six-year-old son, this is tough. I'm sure every parent in the whole world knows exactly that feeling that happens to you when your child is in danger, and that is a hard feeling to resist and step back and just say, the legal system's got it. That has been very hard for me. And so that is Kayla Stobb. She lives in the Alpine Woods Apartments, and she shared this surveillance video of her husband actually making a citizen's arrest January 10th, uh, which was the third time she says the man was caught peeping in her son's bedroom window. Now, we aren't naming this man, and we're not going to show his face on camera because he hasn't been formally charged yet. Uh, but the DA's office confirms he was arrested twice in January. Stobb says she and her neighbors have cell phone pictures of at least one of those arrests. Uh, she says she found out through Nextdoor that her family isn't the only one dealing with this. Another mom posted that the same guy had been caught peeping in her daughter's window. She says that family is frustrated and angry as well. Now, Staub filed a temporary restraining order against this man. Uh, she's worried of what will happen if he isn't put behind bars. Uh, she says her son is autistic and can't speak. Nonverbal, can't say much. You know, he's got his little AAC device and I, you know, the, when the detective asked him, like, have you seen this man through your window? And he just pushed, like, yes. You know, it was, it was heartbreaking and it was sad. And I, um, you know, I do everything I can to protect my babies. But this has been really rough. And I was able to talk to the deputy district attorney on this case, Trisha Amador, and she says uh, while we don't know if this man is going to be charged, she tells me that detectives are, quote, expeditiously working on this case. Uh, so perhaps we will find out soon. Heather and Carlo. Yeah, Kelly, do we know if this guy is a neighbor in that area? Had the mother met him or even seen him before? Well, she, from her understanding, he actually used to live in a complex next to hers, but she says that he is appears to have recently moved out and is just somewhere in San Diego. Uh, she isn't sure where. So her message to parents is, you know, check your child's bedroom windows, make sure nothing is broken. She believes that he was peeping at her son through just a, a little break in the blinds in his uh, bedroom. Strange story. Understandable why parents there would be very upset. Kelly Hussett all reporting live for us. Thanks, Kelly.